The world is full of fascinating and beautiful wonders that attract millions of viewers every year. But there are certain places on our planet that you cannot visit for different reasons. Some are considered to be among the scariest places on Earth, while others need to be protected from human influence and interference. Number 5 A forbidden place in southwestern Turkey, known as Pluto's Gate, was discovered in 1965 by Italian archaeologists. It was then further explored in 2013 by another Italian team, led by Francesco D'Andrea, who was an archaeology professor at the University of Salento. After tracking the route of a thermal spring, the site was unearthed and it was found to closely resemble the descriptions of a temple to the underworld that disappeared in the 6th century after being decimated by Christians. It's not known exactly how old the site is, but since the nearby city of Heropolis was founded around 190 BC, it is assumed that the gate is likely the same age. In Greco-Roman mythology and tradition, the cave is described as being the portal to the underworld and was used in ancient rituals where sacrifices were made to the gods. Historic sources describe the space to be filled with lethal vapors, with one Greek geographer called Strabo describing it as being so misty and dense with gases that it was barely possible to see the ground. Once the site was further excavated, more ruins were discovered, including ionic semicolumns containing an inscription which was dedicated to Pluto and Kor, the deities of the underworld. Above the cave, D'Andrea found the remains of a temple, a pool, and a series of steps from where people could view the sacred rites that were performed there in ancient times. Onlookers were not allowed to approach the area at the opening, however, as only priests were permitted to stand in front of the portal and it's said that only the eunuchs of Cybele, an ancient fertility goddess, were able to enter the gate without suffering any harm. It's also believed that the site was used as an area where incubation rites were performed. Pilgrims would drink from a pool located near the temple and would sleep near the cave. They would then receive visions and prophecies now known to be hallucinations caused by the toxic fumes that rise from the cave's groundwater. Due to its lethal nature and historical significance, the site is now completely off-limits to visitors. Number 4 The existence of a highly forbidden place, the Metro 2 Underground Railway, has been speculated over many decades and is said to have been built during Joseph Stalin's rule in Russia. It's believed to still be in use and operated by Russia's main directorate of special programs and the Ministry of Defense. It's rumored that Metro 2 exceeds the public metro line in length and that it connects the Kremlin with the Federal Security Service headquarters as well as the government airport and an underground town at Ramenki that can accommodate up to 30,000 people, to name but a few locations of national importance. A subterranean exploration group known as the Diggers has reported that it has not only found the tunnels, but that they have explored the line and gotten to know their way around it. On the 6th of August 2020, a popular Russian urban exploration YouTuber was arrested after he was suspected of leaking information related to Metro 2 to the Ukraine. When a USB flash drive which he took with him to the Ukraine was found in his possession containing information on Metro 2 which is considered to be a state secret, he was taken into custody and faces between 3 and 8 years in prison. Other sources that seem to confirm the existence of Metro 2 include a report published in 1991 by the United States Department of Defense, which contains a diagram of the system, superimposed on a map of Moscow. In 1992, 
the deputy director broadcaster, spoke about a series of tunnels and bunkers that exist about 19 miles northeast of Moscow. He stated that they were built at large depths in case of a nuclear war, but that many of the tunnels were now flooded and that the equipment found there has become unusable due to aging. In 2004, several Russian officials confirmed that there is a railway line running underground which was built due to Stalin's paranoia of being assassinated. Number 3 On the 12th of September, 1940, 18-year-old Marcel Ravidat discovered the Lasco Caves when his dog Robot fell down a foxhole on Lasco Hill. He returned with three of his friends who helped him widen the hole and with the help of a makeshift lamp, they made their way down the 50-foot shaft which led them into the caves. They returned on the 21st of September accompanied by a curator at the Prehistory Museum and a Catholic priest who made sketches of the paintings, many of which are still used today to study the paintings, as the originals have started to degrade significantly. Containing over 600 prehistoric wall and ceiling paintings from around 17,000 years ago, the caves are situated in southwestern France. The paintings depict mostly large animals and plant life that would have been common at the time, as is evidenced by fossils from the same era that were found in that area. They are thought to be the combined effort of generations of people who recorded their successful hunts and the animals that they saw while living in the area, and contain depictions of horses, deer, ibex, bison, and a number of large cats. The caves were open to the public on the 14th of July, 1948, with the archaeological investigations starting during the following year. The caves would see up to 1,200 visitors a day, but this caused a rise in humidity, carbon dioxide, and heat which allowed fungi to thrive, causing serious damage to the paintings. Consequently, the caves became highly forbidden in 1963, and the paintings were restored to their original states. Replicas of the caves have been created to give people the chance to experience the paintings for themselves, but the original cave remains closed to the public and is monitored for air quality on a weekly basis. Number 2 The Issei Grand Shrine, which you cannot visit, is located in the middle of an ancient forest in Japan. It's a shrine that is dedicated to Amaterasu, the god of the sun. First built in 4 BC, it's considered to be the most important shrine in the country, along with a separate shrine dedicated to the goddess of food. Although the site attracts as many as 6 million pilgrims and visitors each year, members of the public are not permitted beyond an area where the shrine's thatched roofs can be seen. They are, however, allowed to explore the surrounding forest and walkways which date back to the Meiji period. The chief priest or priestess who is responsible for overseeing the shrine must be a part of the Imperial House of Japan. According to the second oldest book of classical Japanese history, the shrine was established when the daughter of Emperor Sunin wandered through the regions of Omi and Mino for 20 years in search of a permanent place to worship Amaterasu. When she arrived in Issei, she said to have heard the goddess's voice saying, This is a secluded and pleasant land. In this land I wish to dwell. And she took it as a sign to build the shrine. Every 20 years, the shrine is dismantled and rebuilt on an adjacent site according to exact specifications and a construction technique that uses cypress wood and no nails, relying instead on joints in the wood to keep it upright. This is done due to the Shinto belief of the passing and rebirth of nature, as well as the impermanence of all things and as a gesture to the deity who is said to dwell within. The current iteration of the shrine, which is the 62nd version, was built in 2013 
and is scheduled to be dismantled and rebuilt again in 2033. Although the shrine was not originally decorated with gold and copper adornments, these were added over time as technology advanced and Buddhist influence started to take hold. Since power tools are not allowed during the construction of the shrine, building teams need to have a very particular set of ancient skills, with preparations starting around six years before the rebuilding date. Number 1 Dulce Base is rumored to be one of 130 deep underground military bases that exist in the United States. Geologist and explosive expert Phil Schneider claims that he worked at 13 of these scary places, including Dulce Base, where he said that his team helped with its excavation in 1979. It's said to be located near the town of Dulce on the Colorado-New Mexico border and that it is ground zero for extraterrestrials that are working side by side with the US government. Schneider stated that during excavation, they drilled holes on top of an alien city, resulting in a battle with alien greys that ended the lives of 66 Secret Service agents, FBI agents, and others. During the battle, he received a beam weapon blast from one of the extraterrestrials, which caused the loss of several of his toes and fingers, and later caused cancer in his body. He would later show the scar on his chest as proof during lectures on deep underground military bases. He further claimed to have knowledge of the Granada Treaty, which was established in 1954 between grey aliens and the US government as a mutual cooperation pact and of stealth aircraft technology that has been developed thanks to reverse engineering performed on alien craft. In the same year, businessman Paul Benowitz became convinced that he was picking up electronic communications from an unknown source, and when he investigated further, discovered the underground base at Dulce, and that the signals originated from there. Many people believe that the base is constructed in various levels that include areas where genetic, mind control, and cryogenic experiments are being carried out. It's also said that the base serves as a hub for an underground transportation system, which connects a number of other bases, one of which is situated in Taos. Tim Anderson, who was a 14-year police veteran in Dulce, reported that he saw a strange flying object while working in a nearby canyon in the 1990s. He stated that the craft lit up the entire valley before disappearing into the rocks on the mountain, as if retreating underground. However, political scientist Michael Barkin has said that Cold War underground missile installations in the Dulce area have given these rumors superficial plausibility. He claims that the tales of experiments and abductees and firefights between aliens and humans have caused reports of the Dulce underground base to be seen as well outside even the most far-fetched reports of secret underground bases. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell to keep up to date with all of our future uploads. But I've been Ty Knotts and I'll catch you guys in the next video.